getting started with Phototune 3. Great color, it's not as hard as you think. Phototune 3 will optimize your image's dynamic range, color, and sharpness, and there's no need to understand all the complicated controls inside of Photoshop to use it. Its new dynamic range enhancement algorithm remaps the tones in your image to make it look more natural, the way you saw it in real life. The improved wizard will walk you through the process of enhancing your image in as few as two steps. And with the amazing skin tune technology, you can color correct a portrait image with a single click. Better images are just a few clicks away with Phototune 3. Phototune is a plugin to Adobe Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. That means to use it, you'll first need to open the image you want to work on inside of Photoshop. Now there's a couple different ways you can access Phototune. The first way is to go to the File menu and then go down to Automate and here you can access Phototune. Under Photoshop Elements, it'll be File and Automation Tools. If you have Photoshop CS2 or CS3, you'll also have an On1 menu, which is located between the Window and Help menu. Simply click on On1, and then at the bottom, you'll see Phototune. You'll also be able to access any presets that you've created, or that you've downloaded from the On1 Exchange, or that have shipped with the product itself. And you can just select one of these presets to apply it without even seeing the Phototune interface come up. Now if you have Photoshop CS4, my new favorite way to access the plugins is using an extension panel. If we go to the Window menu and then select Extensions, you'll see there's an On1 option. This will open a floating palette where you can access all of your plugins, like Phototune, as well as any presets, just like you would from the On1 menu. The great thing about this extension panel is it works just like all of the panels inside of Photoshop. You can even drag it over and dock it into the sidebar, just like any other Photoshop panel. All right, let's go ahead and open up Phototune. I'm just going to double click on Phototune right here inside of the extension panel. When Phototune starts, you have a choice of using the wizard on images with people or images without people, or just clicking on the Go Pro mode. I'm going to jump to the Pro mode in this case. When you open Phototune, it doesn't matter if you go to the Wizard or to the Pro UI, it'll take over your screen and you notice that Photoshop is in the background waiting for us to do our work. Go ahead and make your adjustments using the controls inside of Phototune. I'm going to do that really quick just to skip ahead. Once you've made your adjustments, press the Apply button in the bottom right hand corner. There we go, your results will be applied back to the image in Photoshop. You can also access Phototune inside of the workflow applications that you use every day, like Adobe Photoshop Lightroom or Apple Aperture. Let me show you how that works. Select the image you'd like to work on, then go to the File menu, select Plugin Extras, and then select Phototune. The Phototune dialog will appear. On the left-hand side, you'll see a list of presets that you've created or that were installed with Phototune or that you've downloaded. You can also search in the field at the top for the name of a preset. In the center, you'll see a description of the preset. On the right-hand side, you can control how the preset is applied. You can apply it to the original image. You can open the image as a smart object, which will apply Phototune as a smart filter, which makes it re-editable. Or you can select the third option, edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. If I press the Apply button, my preset will be applied in a round-trip fashion. Or if I press open, it'll open the image into Phototune so that I can work on it manually. Let me show you how it works when I apply a preset. It'll make the copy, send it to Photoshop, it'll apply my preset from Phototune automatically, then it will save it, close it, and round trips it back to Lightroom. So here in just a second we'll see there's our image, and there it is with the black and white adjustment. There's before, and there's after. You can learn how to use Phototune 3 by accessing the user guide. It's HTML based and you can find it inside of Phototune by going to the help menu. You'll also find a wealth of information at the On1 software website. It's the place to go to find over 100 free video tutorials. It's the best way to learn everything you want to know about using Phototune 3. You also have access to free technical support as well as product updates. There's also a knowledge base where you can access frequently asked questions, 
and a user-to-user -user forum where you can ask questions of other users. You can also check out the On1 Exchange. It's a community website where you can download presets for Phototune created by On1 software as well as professional photographers and other users. You can even share your presets as well.